everybody, how are you? So good to see you. I'm just practicing um, some limbering up exercises because I've been trying to see how long I'd be able to hold my hands up in the air. So I've been holding them up, one minute and 10 seconds. My back was just starting to kill. I honestly only made it with my hands up in the air for one minute and 30 seconds. So I wanna see how long you're able to hold your hands up in the air. Now question, if I told you that your prize was a box of Timbits that you guys got to have, if you could hold your hands up in the air even longer, would it make it easier? I bet it would, right? This reminds me of a story in Exodus 17 about Moses when he had to hold up the staff of God. What happened is a really mean army, the Amalekites, came and they attacked the Israelites. So Moses, he told Joshua, he said, tomorrow I want you to go and to get an army, part of the Israelites, and to go and to fight against them. And he said, while you're doing that, I'm gonna hold my God staff up in the air on the hill. So the next day came and Joshua went with the Israelites, he went to fight. Moses, he was up on top of the hill and he had his God staff in his hand. And what happened is when the God staff was up in the air, the Israelites were winning the battle. And the stakes were really high because there was one army against the other. So Moses, he had his hands up and he was trying to keep them up as hard as he can. So hold up your hands and see how long you can hold them up. But even though he knew that he needed to keep up that God staff so his army could win, it was getting hard. And he was finding it was like a little bit difficult. So I bet he tried to like stretch out his arms to one side, stretch out his arms to the other side, and tr keep on trying to hold up the God staff. But eventually what happened is that God staff started to fall because Moses' arms were getting tired and he'd push it back up again. But then his arms would start to get tired. Then the Israelites would start to lose and he'd push it back up again. And then they would start to win. So when Moses was on the hill and he went, when he had his hands raised up, holding onto his God staff, his army was winning. But when Moses had his hands down and he let the God staff go down, he found that his army was losing. Do you know what happened? Moses' brother Aaron, he came to help him. And he also had his friend Hur with him. So what they did is they moved a rock over. So poor Moses was struggling. They pulled a rock over so he could sit down because his arms were getting so, so tired. One got on one side of Moses, one got on the other, and they helped hold up Moses' arms so that he could hold up the God staff. And they helped him all day until the sun set. The incredible thing was, is that the Israelites won the battle. The battle was God's battle. But Moses needed help to hold up that God staff. Moses must have been so thankful that he had his brother Aaron and his friend Hur to help him. When Aaron and Hur went to help Moses, Moses didn't say, get away guys. I'm good, I got it all myself. I've got this, I don't need your help. He didn't do that. He let his brother and his friends help him so that he was able to hold up the God staff so that the Israelites were able to win the battle. Is there something that you need help with? Maybe at school, with your friends, or maybe because of all the changes that we've had to deal with with COVID. Do you know what? The battle is God's. He's the one that's going to help us, but we also need to say yes to the help of people around us. So if there's something in your life that you feel like you're kind of sinking a little bit, you need a little bit of help. Make sure, first of all, talk to God, but also reach out to the people that God has put around you. Take care, everyone. See you soon.